Hello, kids! Welcome to our class! Today, we are going to learn another math topic, and that is subtraction. Can you say subtraction? Great! Subtraction is the process of taking an amount away from another number. So when we subtract a number from another number, the answer will become small. Unlike in addition, when you put the numbers together, it becomes big. But in subtraction, it decreases. Now, these are the terms used in subtraction. We have take away, remove, minus, deduct, difference, subtract, diminished, and decreased. When you see these words, you already know what to do with a certain problem. It only means that you have to do subtraction. We also have some parts of subtraction sentence. A sentence will not become a sentence if there are missing parts. Same with subtraction. If there are missing parts, it will not become a subtraction sentence. Let me show you a sample. 15 minus 5 equals 10. So each part has its name. 15. We call this minuend. The minuend is the number from where we take away another number. So usually the minuend is the biggest number. 5 is the subtrahend. The subtrahend is the number that we take away. Or that's the number that we are removing. And the minus sign. We also have equal sign and 10 is the difference. The difference is the answer in subtraction. So each part of subtraction sentence is very important. Minuend, subtrahend, minus sign, equal sign, and the difference. Let's try this one. I have 12 minus 2 equals 10. What do you think is the minuend here? Great job! That is 12. What about the subtrahend? Great! It's 2. And the difference? 10. Let's have another example. I have 14 minus 3 equals 11. Can you tell me which one is the difference? Great! That's 11. What about the minuend? 14. And the subtrahend? That is 3. Great job, kids! Another example. I have 20 minus 12 equals 8. Which one is the subtrahend? Awesome! That is 12. What about the minuend? 20. Correct. And the difference? 8. Great job! So remember the parts of subtraction sentence. Let's have a drill. Let's practice subtracting simple numbers. Sometimes, we can use our fingers to subtract. But it's better if we can do it mentally. So let's just have a practice. Let's try this. 5 minus 3 equals blank. What do you think is the difference? Again, you may use your fingers to subtract. In 3, 2, 1, time is up. The answer is 2. Did you get 2 as well? If yes, then very good. If not, we have more examples to do. On to the next. I have 7 minus 3. Think hard. Great job. That is 4. Another example. 9 minus 1. Very good. That is 8. Let's have another example. 10 minus 0 is blank. What do you think is the answer? Wonderful. That's 10. Remember children, any number 
or that you subtract from zero, the answer is still the number itself because it doesn't matter because zero doesn't have a value here. Another one, 10 minus 5. You can sing the Sampung mga daliri Nawala ang lima Ilan na lang, ilan na lang, ilan ang natira What do you think? Great! It's five! You are very good today, kids! Remember, when you subtract, you are taking away numbers. So, you can work on more activities. There's a lot of activities in the internet. You may use that as practice. Okay, so I hope to see you again next time. And thank you for your time. God bless. Bye-bye. Did you learn from the video? If yes, and you want to improve your skills more, then we are the right person for you. We can help you when you enroll in our online tutorial services. For particulars, you may visit and message our Facebook page at www.facebook.com slash Pisa Pisara. And please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Pisa at Pisara. Do not forget to like, comment, and click the bell button. Thank you and God bless.